What's going on? Welcome back to Pistol Pete's. Hope everybody's having a grand old time in February. I know it's, uh, if you're in the north or anywhere central United States, you are freezing your beauties off. Also in Canada, can't forget, I am a Canadian by the way, but I live in the U.S. Um, we've been getting smacked with snow by the way out here in Buffalo. I've seen some other people getting smacked out in Ohio and just all across the board. Overnight in four or five hours got 18 inches of snow. Can you believe that? I can't. Um, and I've been living in the north for quite, pretty, darn well near, well actually well over two thirds of my life actually. Anyways, uh, enough about that. We're back for another Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster Pack Crack. I am still fishing and I am getting really pissed off. Still have not caught a uh, full art foil Ragavan. Really disappointed about that. Um, I can't believe it. I, so what, last, last week we opened the 16th Collector Booster Box. Like I said, still have not got one. Um, this is going to be number 17. Am I going to get one today? I don't know. You tell me. You're, you, you probably, you're probably saying no. Uh, and, you know, out of 16, diff 1 in 16 times, you're going to be correct. Or actually, 16 out of 16 times, you're going to be correct. Wow, my math is off. Um, all right. No more pissing about. Let's get it. And this time I'm going to keep things simple. I'm going to I'm going to keep all the high value top dollar cards up here, put all the stank down on the bottom uh off to the side because I know yesterday I was pissing about or yesterday, geez, last week I was pissing about with that. But hope you guys enjoy this video. Oh, by the way, we are doing the free card giveaways once again at Pistol Pete's Collectible Trading Cards. So, if you want to be entered in and get a chance to win a free $1 to $20 card, it's going to be judged by the whatever the dice rolls at the end of uh, February. Um, if you want to be entered into that drawing, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and drop a comment. That's the only way you're going to be entered into the drawing. But, I'm doing one video every week for the entire month of February. Um, and that's four different opportunities for you to get your name out there, to get your, you know, drop a comment, and to be entered into the drawing that's coming up end of February. I will post the winner. I'll probably do even a live feed of me picking the winner through a random, like, website tabulator, like, figuring out who's going to win. And, uh, yeah, I'll share that all with you all. So, you see, I don't, you know, pick and choose any favorites. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll even give away an extra free card. Uh, we I did that the last time that there was a card that was valued under five dollars. I said the hell with it. Let's just roll the dice again. We'll give you a second winner into that into that uh, drawing. So if I'm feeling good and a little perky, um, might just hand you guys another uh, second free card at the end of February. So uh, let's get let's get cracking. Let's see what we got here. Um, again, we're keeping an eye out for those high value prismatic endings. Um, those are a very high value uncommon card in this set. They can uh, shoot like the foil versions of them are going for up to 10 bucks. Um, so you definitely want to keep your eye out for that. Once again, we're starting this pack crack video off on the right foot with a scalding tarn extended art right there. Beautiful card, beautiful playability, probably the most sought after um, fetch land that there is. Um, so winner, winner, chicken dinner. Fetch land number one. Let's see how many we get. I think my record was like seven fetch lands and two uh, land cards, like that Hall of Heliod's Generosity or whatever it was, and a and a prismatic ending or something like that. I can't remember, but it was phenomenal. <clears throat> I hate these bloody shardless agent full art cards. Like, give me something of value. Don't just give me this sh stank. Let's get something of value in there. But anyways, keeping on going, we've got a changeling outcast. Um, super fun card for a one swamp cost. It's a changeling and it can't block and can't be blocked, but a uh, very fun card for playing. Um, and that beautiful retro foil frame. I just love those cards. We've got our first etched and sketched foils. Um, oh, better pull that up a little bit. There we go. Sketched foil, etched retro foil. And we've got our first uh, standard version etched foil right there. Um, as you all know, the video, the camera has a hard time always focusing on that. And bam, a beautiful Ayula Queen Among Boars, uh, Bears. Can you see that? I don't, holy smokes, let me see if I can focus the camera. I don't know what it is with Modern Horizons 2. See that like smudging there? I, I did get it just there, the smudging in the top of the card there. Um, how bloody annoying. Like Magic, get your, get your stuff together over there. And print us some decent, like, you know, technology's come a long way since the 90s, but um, you're still printing, like, trash. 
You, you printed better cards back in the early 90s than you're printing today. Like, come on. Get with it, man. Anyways, enough of my rant. That is a first pack crack, or first pack out of the Collector Booster crack right there. And we got a Scalding Tarn. So not a bad start. Not a bad start. There are some trash Collector Booster boxes. You'll generally know if you've got one of them by the time you're about six packs in. Because you won't have pulled a darn thing. And uh, if you're getting dinked on one of these boxes, these Collector Booster boxes, you're probably going to walk away in the dinked scenario with maybe $200, $225 in value as a worst case scenario. Um, definitely not good, but could always be worse, right? Um, at least you're, get, you're still getting a, what are they going for now, like 400 bucks? Probably going to be going for 55 pretty soon. Um, so you're still kind of getting something there, just not a heck of a lot. Um, but a lot of these boxes do have around 400, anywhere from 400 to 550, I'd say on average, a lot of them, like maybe two thirds of them that I've cracked. Um, so there is some good value there. Um, but be prepared for the worst as always when you're trading in magical stuff. There's another standard edition foil. Nothing valuable there, or etched foil. Nothing valuable really coming out of those. Timeless Dragon. Womp womp. And uh, Asnaramana Dekula Uh Full art foil, at least. Did get one of those, so that's always nice. Not too good, though. That was a pretty scary pack. I'm a little worried this might be one of those trash collector boxes. There's generally one trash collector box in every single case of six pack case of collector boxes. I know I've been there, I've done it. Like I said, this is pack number seven, box number 17. So we're approaching our third collector booster box case um, at Pistol Pete's here for, for, for videos that is. And again, just as a friendly reminder, I crack these for A, personal collection, and then B, like excess of what I'm looking for in my personal collection gets listed for sale. Um, and also just crack a heck of a lot also for sale. I mean, I think we've already sold away ooh, eight, eight or somewhere a little above that in um, um, the Urza Sagas, the the sketched Urza Sagas, which are very valuable. I've been selling them at $40 a piece. And they did bottom out at around 25 or 30, but they've since actually appreciated once again and they're selling once again around 35 to $40. That's nice because, you know, whether you're you're collecting that card for your personal collection or you're looking to swing a buck on it, um, oops, you're at least starting to make some money back on your investment in the, in the set. And beautiful card here, a Chatterfang, Squirrel General. Now that's the etched retro foil, so there is some modest value there. And zing, there's a Sword of Hearth and Home retro foil, a beautiful retro foil print right there. So not too bad. We're starting to make some magic happen here. Um, I am going to do away with the sketched foils because they're a little sketchy. And also going to do away with the etched retro foils because, well, I'll put the valuable ones up there. <clears throat> All right, pack number three. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. Stumbled there. All right, we've got a Dow of the Void Walker extended art. That's a nice little pull as well. Stick that on the pile. The, by the way, these unmarked graves, they're an excellent freaking card. Search your library for a non legendary card, put that card in your graveyard, then shuffle. Only one swamp and a colorless for that. And they're actually, I think there is some value to those cards. I feel like they're a few bucks. Got a Verdant Command, Womp Womp. Um, sketched card. A retro foil, sketched foil, Aromaba, useless etched retro foil, Enchantress's presence. So I'm starting to get a little nervous. Dress down foil. I am starting to get a little nervous. This is not looking like uh, it's going to be one of those, uh, you know, definitely not looking like a heavy hitter here so far. Um, and like I said, you get that sometimes. This might be one of those burnout packs. And it's starting to look like it. So you're starting to get your own sense now uh, through watching these videos of whether you should be pooping your uh, your drawers 
if you're uh, pulling stuff like what I am right now. You probably should. Although, did get a little bit of a Hail Mary here, a Mirari's Wake, the full art um, mythic card. That's another nice full art uh, card pull. Or sorry, the first nice one here. Um, and let's see what else we got. Shenanigans, that's what we're full of today. And a Carthy Lion trash with a resurgent belief. So this is going to be a Womp Womp pack. I'm telling you that uh, very rarely we're how many packs in now. We got what? Six, seven. We're about halfway. Yeah, this is not looking good. But who knows? I've had some lucky swing arounds near the near the last few packs, so I mean, who knows? Let's uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I'm gonna find out for you with my dollars, not yours. Womp womp once again. Mm, just crashing hard. See th sit this the harvest hand. Tide shaper, just a terrible print. You can barely even read that. The title there, a steep step through, same thing, very bad print, an etched retro foil, just trash, worthless garbage, Kermit Guide, and a Yava Mile Cradle of Growth. Okay, I mean, there's something at least. It's really not looking good though. Unless I'm pulling like a Verdant Command or something, or Ver Verdant Catacombs, or uh, Cabell Coffers or an Urza or, or that uh, Rockabon that I'm, you know, still hunting for. I'm pretty disappointed with this pack, I'm not going to lie. But we'll see, we'll see. We got a Nettle Cyst, Extended Art, Skyon of Draco. It's not looking good, guys. Skyon of Draco, Mythic, Chatterstorm, Retro Foil. Vial and Tumor. That's not. I think there's some value in that card, if my memory serves me correct. That's an etched retro foil. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Absolutely worthless. Although there's a little bit of value there. And a Chitter Spitter extended art foil. Jeez, guys. On freaking real, man. What's happening here? We're down to five more packs. And yet, not a single fetch land. There better be some zingers in these last few packs. I can't believe, like, I've had it happen once where there was not a single fetch land in an entire collector booster box at one time out of 16. Wait a minute, I did get one. I got a Skeleton Tarns and the Verdant Catacombs. Okay, thank goodness. If only it was a foil, though. But there's a Verdant Catacombs. Beauty. Beauty, we needed that. We need another three. If I really want to make back my money on this box. Nested Shambler. Abundant Harvest. Chatterstorm. Territorial Kavu. And Avoid Mirror. Womp. Just, uh, at least there was the Verdant Catacombs in that pack, but holy Toledo's. It's not the looking good. Oh, a counter spell. There's some little little bit of value in that uncommon, of course. It's a classical card. Very uh very useful. One of the most useful cards in the game, I would say. For a two uh for a two water cost. Territorial Kavu, trash. Late to dinner, persist, mind collapse. Scale up. Etchings of the Chosen on an etched retro foil. Solitary Confinement, etched standard foil, and a Sanctum Weaver. There is some value in that one, but not a heck of a lot, man. Not a heck of a lot. This is this is a disaster box. I think I called that like four or five packs in. But uh, that's how sh that's how the cookie crumbles, man. Sometimes you just get you just gotta bend over and and take it. There's a Thrasta, Tempest's Roar, not a very good mythic card, but it is a mythic card, but not a very good one. There's three mythics so far. Mind Collapse, Magnetic Sinkhole, Goblin and Energy Man through 
shardless agent, and a timeless dragon. When you're pulling timeless dragons, that's an instant sign like this is a bad box. And especially if you pull multiple, which we did. It's just, that's what the bad boxes are stuffed with. Just trash. And those, uh, what's the other one there? The city, the little city one. Jeez, can't remember the name right now. But that's how you know you're headed for doom. All right, let's see. Maybe we can get a Hail Mary here at the end, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I know I sound like a Debbie Downer right now, don't I? There's a Mythic. First sketched Mythic, non-foil though. And a Talisman of Curiosity. The Talismans are great. They're a lot of fun. Sanctron Vec has a little bit of value, but not much. And a Magnus of the Bridge. Yeah. Last pack, guys. Let's just let's just aim this painful, painful video. And uh, like I said, like the video, subscribe, drop your comments, and you will be entered for a free card giveaway. I might even be giving away one of these cards right here that you're seeing right now. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Which cards I want to give away? You know, in the past videos, I was giving away cards from this set. But, uh, I don't know. We've got an extensive catalog of cards at Pistol Pete's. And uh, I'll do a little rummaging through and see what I can find. See what I feel like giving away. You never know what you could get. You could get a vintage card. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. A Plague Engineer, etched Foil, and a, lastly, a Turok, the Dread Cantor Foil Mythic Full Art. So that was an absolutely garbage box. Absolutely garbage. There's a Mirari's Wake there for some value. Sky on of Draco, what, Fiverr, Thrasta, like $2 or some, something like that. I don't even know. It's just, I don't even care about them. The Turok, what, $10 maybe? Just a garbage box, guys. Just garbage. Verdant Catacombs. And a scalding tarn. That's like 60, 80 bucks. We're maybe got a hundred dollars here. Plus, I mean, once you get going through the rest of these, sure, maybe 150, 200 dollars. So, absolutely abysmal. You know, I have witnessed the kind of garbage you can get and how you can just kind of throw away a couple hundred bucks. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed watching that. <sighs> bummer, bummer, bummer. Um, Thanks for tuning in, guys. Keep your heads up. I'm sure the next box is going to be way better. I'll be posting that next weekend. Have a great week, guys. Cheers. And gals. Cheers.